got a wild one for you this week. That's right. It's we're feeling pink. We're feeling poussoir. Um, Meatball is looking lovely. Wearing but wig, the bitch. I'm wearing <laughs> earrings too. Oh, I can't talk. I'm not gonna move my hands anymore. This week we got a wild episode. That's right. Naomi Smalls is on the show with us. Ah! We talked about literally everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the whole. We talked about the whole wide world. We talked about Vegas. We talked about sex. We talked about pets. We talked about forest fires. It's a great show. And a little round of slant my name if you can handle it. Yeah, slant my name again. Naomi Smalls, hard name to rhyme. You know, baloney. You got it. Take a listen. Goodbye. M. Oh. M. Mom. When your first choice is a big old bus, you turn around and boom, you end up with us. Sloppy seconds. Oh, diva. Our number is 213-536-9180. Our email is sloppysecondspot at gmail.com. Now on with the show. Hi, you sloppy, you stupid little f***ing, you nice little f***ing, you dirty little f***ing, sloppy, you big dipper, and meatball. I'm meatball, and that's big dipper. Welcome to the show. The higher the hair, the closer to Black History Month. That's right. I mean, but this probably comes out But this out is coming March. out after. Anyways, we're, you know, we're professionals. Jesus. We're professionals now, so we record ahead of time. Yeah, you could never. And you could never wear earrings. They they were put upon me. <laughs> put upon you. They were blessed upon you I by know, our I'm illustrious guest them. today. Do you want to do the honors? <laughs> Their DNA is all over them. Yes. For our guest intro, I'd like to start it by saying, this person is shapes, poses, legs, body, makeup collabs, beauty, body, body scoops, and harem pants reveals. That is the icon, the legend, Naomi Naomi Smalls! Ow, bow, 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 In drag. I know, in drag. We were truly shocked. We were like, there's no way she's coming in You walked in with a wig and we both went, what? Because, not to be shady, but I will be. No, you can say it. We have a shitty podcast. People uh, at much less of a stature and status of you have shorter. Just the shorter They're in the five foot range. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) No, just people who maybe are different places in their careers don't take the opportunity to like show their, their full self on the video. Oh, interesting. They come not in drag. And I can't, you know, you're a guest. I can't expect can't anything from our guests. Do. And it was, we were both aghast oh. when you walked in because you're so beautiful. Also, and yeah, it's like it, one it o'clock. In... That means you got up so early because I know it takes you about four hours. Yeah, it does take me pretty long. But I mean, it's worth it. I wanted to be here. It That's is the reason why it. I said yes. You look amazing. Oh, thank you so much. What are you doing in the four hours? Uh, I'm checking my phone, <laughs> I'm ordering coffee. I'm watching podcasts, listening to podcasts. Yeah, I, I like do to just like take pod- my time. Yeah. Do you like prefer podcast over music when you're getting ready? Yes, or like old episodes of blank. Okay. Like something that I like, I'm following in my head without even having to like watch. It used uh, to be the Kardashians. Yeah. It used, used to be the Kardashians. I mean, I still will. Uh, even the new show, Hulu. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I didn't watch the old show. Do you like the edit on the new show? My favorite thing about the new Hulu show is they'll be like, Kim, Chloe, talking, talking, talking. They'll be like talking to someone at dinner and then they'll go like, bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> right to the camera ah! and you're like, Kim Kardashian is talking d- right down the barrel. And I'm breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. I mean, I just love the budget and I love the glam. Mm. Is that like my number one when it comes to the show? Like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even oh, no. <coughs> pretend not to admit this. Okay. Bad. Did okay. you make these nails? Yeah, I did. The bows. Little bows. So cute. Little bows. So cute. Um, so we haven't seen you in a while. We yeah. need a big update. You've been in Vegas. You were on the Vegas show for so long. I know. Now years. you're old dead meat and they've replaced you. Two I years? Know. Two years. But like there was also a pandemic in between. Right. But know? Vegas was exempt from the pandemic. Right? Right? No, because we didn't start back until like August. We like closed March 2020. Uh-huh. And then we didn't open again until like August 2021. Oh. So there was a huge break in between that. And did you stay in Vegas? No. Where'd you go? I came back to LA. Oh. And then I just lived in LA again. And then when I went back, I sold my apartment or got rid of my apartment. And then 
now I want to come back. Now you're on your way back. She's bouncing back and forth. Uh, yeah. What's the vibe in Vegas? Like living in Vegas? Yeah. Like I know you work all the time when you're there. Yes. But when you're not working, like what are you doing? So it's five nights a week at the Flamingo. That's a lot. That's a lot of nights. But it goes by so fast when Derek and I are both in the show. Yes. And Roxy. And oh my God, Roxy. Like the that icon. was the cast. That was the cast. I mean, the original six is like the cast, mm-hmm. but like when Roxy came in, that was like, <sighs> you want some oiled up legs and human hair units? That's my kind of drag. Yeah. And she, at the end of every one of her performances, she ends it with Glee's uh, <laughs> "Don't Stop Believing." Is that right? is that real? Yeah, I haven't. That I, was from when she won Continental Plus. That's so crazy. I know. Glee. Glee. Random. She chose Glee. So and random. She chose the spoken word of her thanking them. <laughs> that's Think, her voice. Yes, that's her going, and that is why I am your Miss Continental. And that was sort Don't of. Don't stop. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Iconic, that iconic. Was, that was sort of before it was easy to come by a microphone. Like she had to go seek that voiceover out. Oh, oh she, yeah, to Ro- put it in the mix. Roxy Andrews is the blueprint. Like she is, to me, she is every drag queen's favorite drag queen. Like sure. she is that girl, and she taught me so much. Like everything I know about like being on stage. Really, I didn't know that you were that close with her. Oh, I love her. I'm obsessed with her. Is it true that she drives her own car behind the tour van or tour bus when they travel? Yes. When what? we were in Florida, she like, we had a tour bus that we were all like spending the night in. And she... I love that. <laughs> Sorry, I love that so much. It, it was so like good. a two hour drive in between somewhere in Florida to somewhere else in Florida. And she was like, you want to just ride with me? I'll pick you up at the hotel. And I was like, absolutely. And she pulls up in her like, in like low rider BMW two door moment. And we just zoomed all the way. She is so pussy. I am obsessed. I saw her at the airport once and I almost went and said hello to her. And I think we were on the same flight. It was like coming back from Florida and we landed at LAX and I was like, that's fucking Roxy Andrews. It was incredible. I'm sure she was like Louis Duffel, Gucci slides. It was like trucker hat. (laughs) Ivy Park hat. Yeah, (laughs) it was that. But she also had like, I want to say they were capris. Okay. Daytime but like and that, Keds. It was I like think you maybe just saw them all. No, no, no. It was the Gucci slides. <laughs> My mom. It, was, <laughs> it was the Gucci slides and it was the trucker hat, but there was that sort of that like longer short for a man. It could have been a cargo or like a like a like a lightweight fabric, but in High plaid. Wall. Low rise. Yes, but like I was like, are they capris or are they long short? It was very Floridian. Whatever it was. But it was slay. It I was just slay. I couldn't I didn't even have it in me to go talk to her. I was like, that, I can't. That's power. I just have to admire from afar. Yeah. I do have her number in my phone though. Roxy Andrew? Oh, I do. <laughs> Call her right now. Alaska see if she answers. Listen, Alaska <laughs> gave it to me to try to reach out to her to do like one of those race chaser things. You've done them before, like on yeah. the live stream oh, or whatever. Yeah. She's never responded to me once, but I've texted her like three times. Oh, I'm so happy we're in the studio because I have like never been able to, mm, I haven't really put too much work into it because <laughs> I am uh, very busy. No, I just I hate technology. Me sure. too. Like I hate it. So the fact that there is like a whole other like room that's doing all that uh-huh. is like, thank you guys so much. <laughs> and thank you so much for having me. Look, well, you, you've come to do what you do and they're doing what they do. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Economy. So, so you've, ha- got, you've got the hard hitting questions. Oh, no, I didn't think we were there yet. Oh, no. Small Beyonce. Go. Not yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not yet. She knows. She <laughs> not knows. Yet. They're, they're hard because nothing really rhymes with Naomi. Okay. The only thing is baloney. Okay. Well, we'll get there. I, we'll like, get I mean, there. Oscar Mayer. Remember when Duh was Oscar in your name? Oscar Mayer. Oh, yeah. Wait. Well, it's like duh? my Twitter. Right. Duh, because Naomi Smalls is taken. <sighs> yeah. So, duh, Naomi. So, I don't know why duh was the first thing to come after, and it just stuck. But, like, I see, like, some, like, um, what would I call them? Naomi Smalls. They, like, stand Stand Either fan page or, like, they're, like, queens who are, like, kind of cosplay Yes. Emulating And they put that, like, after. It's cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, a little Do you say duh Don't talk about Lux like she's not here. Uh, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) I'm just kidding. It's just the nose. It was that's it. Oh my yeah. gosh, we 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 you ta- on yeah, the nose. you changed me and got me on the nose and then I forget there was like maybe a queen named Jupiter or something that was doing it and then Lux was the one 
who like I first saw with the hard line across the bottom, and I was like, anything is possible. No, she took it there. Yeah, she really went far on that nose. But I learned from, I mean, like watching Raven when I was younger, and like she like invented the the nose contour for yeah. drag, you know. And then her boyfriend is like such a talented like photo editor. Oh. And I watched like one of the processes of how he like was editing my nose, and then I just kind of like took it like from there. That's but, really smart. It's, I mean, you I, put the Photoshop on yourself. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's absolutely, the way. It's like the oh. next step of cosmetics, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> it's just that, but see now, now yours looks different than I'm I can remember to it. Soften it a bit, but still because like, we're on camera. No, oh. in life, just in uh, life. Because you're a woman. What? It's so annoying. You don't have a passion for makeup? You don't love makeup? Well, that's why it takes me so long, because it's like, everything is like stressful. You yeah. Know? But also yours is like perfect. No, so, and when I go in, I'm really like, is. I got one hour, let's no. see what we could do, baby. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You see, I'm just, I, I am around queens all the time. Yeah. I literally watch makeup tutorial videos just because I feel like I'm in that space. It feels like you could do it. I've never put makeup on my myself at all. But just even being able to identify things where you're like, oh, look at her blush. Like, it goes up over here oh. to, like, bring the color up and soften. We're trying something new today. It's just. I like it. I'm like wearing kimchi chic beauty. Okay. I'm wearing pretty funny palette. Baba oh. Monet. oh. That's the I'm blue very, from the palette? Wow. Yes. Amazing. Did it already come? Yeah, I ordered it and it came the next day. Oh, I think it's because it's like personal <laughs> carrier. I don't know. It, it just was showed Jacob. up at, like it was literally just on my doorstep. It was Jacob. Love. Well, I think it's because it, it ships <laughs> yeah, from out in that. Burbank. Oh yeah, it was Jacob <laughs> just at my door. Hello. Hello. One thing that me. I do love is like you. You're such an established entity in the drag like space and in the beauty world. But I love that you're like, yeah, I'm trying something new. I'm ever evolving. Like, it's not like, I think a lot of people would look at what you've done and be like, oh, yeah, she's gotten there. That's 100%. Like, oh, there no. you go. There's... And you're just always going like, oh, or I'll try this. No, there's never 100%. I will look back at this mug in a year and be like, ew. <laughs> but that's like the coolest part about drag. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do the same. I say it every day. I just go, ugh. Ew. I did that? Like, I feel like, were you one of those girls when you first started wearing makeup, you didn't wear blush? Correct. Yeah, me too. I was very against it. Yeah. It was Layla McQueen, like, two years ago, who, like, yelled at me to put it Why on. Why are yeah. you very against it? I just feel like because, and this is a very dumb reason, so please don't read me, everybody, I, I but because when one. my skin is, there's no makeup on my skin, when I blush, there's naturally no color. So I, to me, it felt unnatural. And then, of course, everyone's like, everything you're doing is unnatural. Who that style looking me right in the eye? I forgot about her. Um, so to me, I was just like, no, I'm not going to put blush on because it doesn't make sense with my skin tone. Now I realize, oh, just throw it on. It doesn't matter. Oh, it yeah. changes everything. Yeah. Everything. I didn't know. I also didn't know that you could use orange and like just straight up bright red as a blush. I was using like fluorescent pinks. Okay. Yeah. Fluorescent. Like, like if I'm going to do it, I want to see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing a little today. Do you, you see how beautiful her lower lashes are? Yeah. You I don't love... like mine? Mine are a top lash. I've turned into a bottom lash. How many tops you be flipping? Just the one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, anyone who wears a bottom lash, an earring, and a nail. That's, an that's drag. Well, the earring. She got two together with the earring. Yeah, I wasn't wearing an earring. You did give this to and me. And it was you... so delicate how you did it. It's like... You just looked at her and you said, how about an earring? I what? think Plastique and Beyonce. Uh, no. And Beyonce. <laughs> Whoa, not Beyonce. Oh, your friends, Beyonce. <laughs> oh, me and Beyonce. You know, B. Did you get your ticket? <laughs> no. Uh, I, think I'm, I think my concert days are done for, like, fighting for it. Sure. There like, it I is. Can't I don't want to fight. Yeah. I want it to be a thing where I'm like, you take this much money and I can just go. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to have to be on a wait list. No. But, like, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be um, incredible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And incredible. I'll buy the DVD. What I oh, yeah, am excited for is when they string together all the cell phone footage so you can, like, yes. watch the concert in full, but it's yes. a bunch of different shaky videos. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Plastique and Beyonce? Oh, Plastique and Bianca. <laughs> uh, yes. Del Rio. They taught me the importance of an earring. Anytime I've ever not worn an earring, I always regret it. And that was when you were doing the drive and drag drive tours, and drag right? Because I remember you became so close with Bianca. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. She's taught me so much too. Also, the thing about her, she never forgets an interaction. 
Like any time yeah. that I've seen her, she's been like, yes, the last time I saw you was this. We were talking about this. And it's just like insane. Am I blocking your camera? No, you're fine. It was just <laughs> insane because I was like, oh, I didn't even remember that. I was like, the last time I saw you was at Drive and Drag when we snuck in the back. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're the Spider-Man man. Yeah. That was crazy. That was a crazy time. We went to the drive and drag that happened here at the Rose Bowl. Yes. We actually brought our little podcast recorder and sort of did like an out, like oh. out in the world, you know. Like vlog. Yeah, just sort of, yeah, like an yeah. audio vlog. On site or on um, location. Or on location. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. <laughs> Honey, those cartoon red boots on the ground. I want those cartoon red boots. <laughs> oh, those, are those like I made out of silicone? How does that? I am assuming it's like a silicone shoe. They look Apparently, amazing. if you have a high arch, they're impossible to get off. Is that why that guy was on the floor trying to get out of it? <laughs> but he also might have been trying on small ones. I mean, I've, also I've love... been known to put on a shoe too small. <laughs> <laughs> but. You got some cliffhangers. <laughs> Don't do that really? to her. This interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just take these out? <laughs> but so what was that driving experience like? Because I can only imagine performing for a field full of cars is a weird experience. Yes, but I loved it. There was no, oh, oh God, I'm so bad. There was no meet and greet. So it was just like, you don't have to like stress about being ready early or like someone touching your wig or something. Right. Or germs. Um, well, yeah, of course, at that point, that was a huge yeah, stress. They weren't there. very concerned when I was back there drinking tequila out of the bottle, though. No oh. one stopped me back there. I mean, who's going to stop Meatball? Exactly. But there was, uh, it was so much fun because it was like all my friends were on the cast. It was right. Kim, Bianca, Plastique, and um, I got to perform Kylie Minogue every night. So yes. I was in heaven. You were the dazzler. And the dazzler. you really had like a viral moment on social media because everyone was so gagged about your harem pant reveal. Okay, Do you that was part this? of the intro, and I'm like, I I don't think I've heard that back. Ooh, I'm, I don't think I've heard that back. What, the harem pant reveal? Like, people talking about a harem pant. Was... People were losing their mind That's over it. so funny. And it was so specific, and I mean, no shade, simple. Like, you just know how to move and manipulate the clothes you have on, but it was so impactful. Oh, thanks. Oh my God, I need to bring her back. I really, I feel I like everyone was like also, gagged about it, Also, I think the disco ball it, right? of it all, everyone was gagged by yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, like I mean, human disco ball. Yes, and that was my friend Ricky's idea, but. I know Ricky, I've met Ricky. It was a Lizzo reference, actually, mm -hmm. that got us there. How? I think she, she did that? it for one of her performances. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. A big Lizzo fan, I just don't remember that. Big, huge, huge Lizzo fan. She called out Fat Slut at one of her concerts. Someone was wearing a Fat Slut t-shirt, and she said, I don't know what that is, but I like it. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. Stun. Yeah, how fun. Because she's a Fat Slut. Because she's a Fat Slut. I'm trying to get her a t-shirt. If anyone knows, oh, Marco. I'll just contact Marco. Just yeah. give it to you. Cornbread. <gasps> True. That's True. her drag mom now. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back with more Naomi Smalls. <laughs> And we're back. Slay. Meatball, you dropped your Coke at the fabric store? What happened? I was holding a can of Coca-Cola. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, so I was down in Santee Ali the uh -huh. other day, and I was trying to buy some fabric. And when I went to do it, I pulled cash out of my wallet, and my bag of <laughs> flew out onto the desk, oh. like where the guy was like charging it. And I didn't see it because I was counting the money. And then he just kept looking at it. And then when I went to hand him the money, he just looked at it and he goes, you dropped something. And I was like, uh, no, but I like couldn't understand him. And right. you know how like when people talk to me and I don't listen, I just start talking at them. What? I was like, just here. I was like, is that not enough? I thought you said it was this much. He's like, you dropped it. And I was like, what did I drop? And then I look on his desk and there's just my little baggie. And I was like, oh. Was it awkward or was he like, let's go in the back? It was awkward. It did was you have any awkward. else? I was not wearing a nail. Damn. Also, do they get grabby with you when you go fabric shopping? Because they'll they'll get a little handsy. Honestly, she doesn't go fabric shopping. I will anymore. avoid Santee Alley for <laughs> any at all any costs. reason. Like I just can't. I like yeah no. Well, I've I can't go now. there with a mission. Like I have to just like go and like leisurely walk around. Uh, That's way better instead yeah, of like. Because if you have a mission, you're in a very high stress situation. If you're trying to like match a spandex with a piece of leather or something, mm -hmm. it's just like it's never gonna happen. No, yeah, yeah, you know. Well, that's why you probably send people down there to buy the fabric for you now. Well, I just have like people who I trust mm -hmm. are not gonna f me over and give me like 
leopard green neon shimmer metallic stretch. Now hold on a second. Now wait a minute. Now that I sounds like a, a good made in that. Look. For me. <laughs> for, ah, me. for me. Not for me. <laughs> um, you were recently just at Fat Slut a few weeks ago. Oh yes. yeah. And you were forced on stage. How was that experience for you? I didn't feel forced. I was excited. Mm-hmm. Um, it was wild. I didn't know that there was full nudity there. There well, there's not. There sure And I'd isn't. like to make a call out to the audience again. <laughs> again, <Uh-oh. laughs> another time. Please stop taking your d- out. The Genitals management is getting upset. Belong in the pants. But the one that was out at Fat Slot recently, it was almost impossible to see. It was giving me belly button vibes. It was also covered in cake. And you know that thing when you get nervous and then the room is hot and it shrinks? Yeah. The room is Absolutely. I don't know. I'm trying to think of excuses. No, I think that that would be me if I were like doing I think if like... I pulled my out in front of a crowd of people, the fear would make it shrink inside Absolutely. of Absolutely. I would, I would want it ideally like a uh, 75% <laughs> chub just fresh out of like a bath. Yeah. Like that's like I feel like when a is like the most beautiful. Okay. Yes. That's yeah. exactly Freshly cleaned it... out of a bath. And I, a little sheen on it, not yeah. dry. Water sheen. A water sheen. Yeah, yeah water not sheen. maybe a dewy drip at the tip. Maybe a little <laughs> oil. No, I recently, <laughs> I recently was texting with this guy who's like, not doesn't make porn, but is a thotty model. Okay. Former guest of the pod. We're not going to say his name, but you might know who I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I don't know. Instagram photos, Twitter photos, like butt cheeks, bulges, but you, never any no videos and he's always posting these photos in a jock strap and his package looks huge but i also like like i know he doesn't have like a 14 inch you know what i mean and well because i've seen him in person and i I feel like if he had a 14 inch you're doing porn how tall i don't know if that's true i don't know five eight five nine no he's taller than me he might be six foot six one i so i texted him and i was like Hey man, how do you always look like so f- huge in your photos? Because it looks like you're just pulling your pants down at the gym and snapping a quick photo in your jock strap. He goes, "Oh, I'm fully d- and getting my d- as hard as possible without it looking erect, and then I'm immediately snapping the yeah. photo." And I felt so dumb for not realizing He's that that fluffed. is exactly what's happening at the gym, though. His entire well, his so he's fluffing in the bathroom and running out flopping. His whole, uh, not his whole, his whole brand is like sexy photos. So of course you're gonna make yourself look the sexiest. Interesting. I just like didn't. It's like how I didn't realize like influencers take photos with angles to make their bodies look better. Or like Mickey Mouse takes off his head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just dumb and gullible. I get it. Anyways, glad we went on that journey. <laughs> well, that, that, I mean, talk about hot <laughs> men and whatnot. So. There's so many drag race now. Uh-huh. <laughs> what some tra- of them are hot men. <laughs> mm-hmm. What is it like being a hot man drag queen? Oh, I don't know if I am a hot man drag queen. I don't. Uh, um, I'm yeah. not. Uh, I would say you're a, very you're arguably a, I mean, beautiful, I mean, be both like the in and out of drag. The season, yeah. Like a supermodel. Very oh, good looking. Yeah, like I like to think I'm a drag. Sexy. little androgynous. Yeah. yeah. yeah My yeah, features yeah, are a little yeah, bit yeah. androgynous, yeah. I think. But I would never tell you like I'm trade of the season. I think that is so embarrassing, actually. <laughs> like people, I actually do think it's it's weird when people on the show call themselves trade of the season and then they like aren't. I mean, <laughs> they never are when they say they are. I know. You know, uh, who is it this season that was like I'm the trade of the season? And I was like, you're like okay. Yeah, like I think it's just like they have muscles. Yes. yes. If they have a square jawline or muscles, they immediately say I'm trade of the season. Okay. But it's like. No, you might be. You might win most masculine features, right? You or might har- hardest to disguise. Be able to do the most push-ups. There you go. There yeah. it is. But I think I think well, the way they use trade on drag right. is not trade. Right. Is more about like who's the sexiest and most desirable, and that is not always like who has the squarest jawline and the biggest muscles. Right. Who do you think is that? On fifteen, mm, maybe from all seasons. <laughs> all <laughs> who seasons. is the most? person who's ever been on Drag Race? Wait, I like, can, th- I can mind, come up with this. Like, in the next okay. 10, 9, 8, <laughs> no, no, 7, I'm just thinking of season 6, numbers. 5, uh, um, 4, Frisbee three, Jenkins. 2, 1. Yes, Frisbee I would Jenkins, say who's that? Sasha, Sasha Bell. Sasha Bell. In her current, oh, that's in her, her current that's their, iteration. Is that their name, Frisbee? Their new, their new drag, drag name. name. Oh. It's Frisbee Jenkins. Because she does, that. like, the bitch put in 
mustache. Yeah. Like she keeps her mustache on all the time. She changed her makeup. And so oh, that's so her like new, new persona. Also, persona. current day Magnolia Crawford. Slay. Oh, yeah. oh, she quit. Uh, Jade Sotomayor. Oh, yeah. From Chicago. Classic. Also, I love that Nisha we're naming Lopez. Probably the first. Oh, yeah, Nisha. Out of Drag is very, very sexy. I love that we're just naming like way earlier seasons because like we're all into older people and they're just not on the. Oh yeah, they're twenty. They're all like twenty five year olds, and I'm like, I I don't know, I'm not into children. (laughs) Yes, truly, they're so young this season. So young, and like, but you were young on your season. You were like twenty one, right? Yeah, it's like freshly twenty one. Okay, what I mean, you probably have the closest experience to what they have. Like, you weren't doing drag for a super long time. Yes. You were on Instagram, you were, right? I was an a, Instagram diva. I feel like Instagram was in not what. Oh, it, it didn't was. have the cachet no. it does now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. the first person who walked in with like Instagram cachet would be Aquaria. Yes, yeah. Like you guys yeah, said, yeah, yeah. oh, like you recognize Kim from right. Instagram, Kim. and you had that conversation. But the it's first time it really deal. meant like, something, numbers. I think, was like season ten or eleven. Yeah, because I think she was like well over like ten k or something. Yeah. Like that. A hundred k, which is like, I think, like oh, it was a hundred thousand when she was yeah, it? And then, like, Kim was like only like twenty five hundred. Yeah, and that was a big deal back then. Yeah, I think, or maybe like twenty five thousand. Probably, I maybe I don't know, but I just remember when Aquaria went on, everyone was like, she came on with a hundred thousand followers, and we don't know how old she is. Oh yeah, everyone right. was like, is she eighteen? Check the ID. That's because all the girls be lying about their age now to get into the club. And your age is twenty eight. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, honestly, I would want to be like twenty seven forever. Ugh. That was a yeah. Twenty. Year. Ooh, I'd say thirty was a great year. I mean, this is so stereotypical and like obvious, but I'm like, if I could be twenty six and know what I know now, that would right. be great. Exactly. Which is just like, who doesn't feel well, that? I would invent the, the iPhone. Time. And I yeah. think, <laughs> you know, I would be <laughs> Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee Curtis is constantly saying that she invented Instagram. Do you yes. know about this? Yes. No. She's like, I made a blog with my photographer friends, and we would take photos on our iPhones and post them on this blog. And two years after that, oh, Instagram appeared. Wow. Everything, everywhere, all at once. I mean, truly. <laughs> What does it say here? You are somewhat aloof. Oh, bitch. Do you Drag think, her ass. Get you, her. Aloof. Do you, do you think that that adds to your star quality? Aloof as in like, what does that mean? I just feel like. Like in this context. In this context, I would say, I don't know what you're up to all the time because you're not constantly posting it on Instagram. Yeah, you're not a secret projects girl. You. Yeah. You pop up with the secret projects when they happen. It's like, oh shit, Naomi did that. Oh yeah, shit, when Naomi you released did that. your video series. Yeah. Oh yeah. And but you like, would just like drop them and be like, I'm doing these for eight weeks. Enjoy. And then like you would disappear. Yeah. And yeah. So- <laughs> Do you feel and- like you create <laughs> intrigue about yourself, and that's why more people are like interested in what you're doing? Yes and no. I feel like I just like I've been that person and I still am that person who I say I'm gonna do something and then like I'll put it off and I'll put it off or it just never happens and right. I'm like embarrassed. Like the so next you- time I like see. So I'd rather just like have the tangible something and like let it live on and then like have people react to that instead of like waiting around and asking questions about it. Yes. It is hard to sort of be like, oh, I'm working on a book. And then everyone's like, where's the book at? Exactly. Like, well, a lot happened and it got canceled. Right. Yeah. And that's so embarrassing. It is. I, yeah. We just talked about that on the on the podcast a couple weeks ago where I was like, I'm, I'm tired of talking about stuff I'm working on because literally I'll talk about it. I'll be excited about it. And then it's like doesn't appear. Right. Ever, or it gets shelved. And mm. then you're like, I'll never see that again. Or then when it does come out, people are like, finally, what took yeah, you Yeah, so you never long? shut up about it. Yeah, I was like that Christina Aguilera like meme where she's like I'm like working on an album I'm oh, working yeah. on an album I'm working on an album for like three years yeah was it like Lotus was that what it was uh yeah whatever came out after um by Bi- Bi- Bionic Bionic but I feel which like which was ahead of its time and I was a big fan of Bionic oh, when it first um, came out what was that Plastic Love Elastic uh-huh. Love Elastic Love that was like my one of my Ooh. club See you said tracks. oh no Plastic, Plastic Love Plastic Elastic Love <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I just know it's I'm not myself tonight <laughs> Is that has that been a lip sync song? No, but it should be. Have they ever done a Christina song? Come on, Judy in a bottle. It's stronger. Uh, yeah, Monet and, and Trinity. Christina I was that. on oh, ten. Didn't she start? Oh yeah, she was with pheromone. pheromone. She was nine. eleven. Nine. Or, oh. Yeah, she was ten. 
She was what? Yeah, ten. The season after Farah. Oh, and like, then Farah came back, right? To just do oh. that one moment. No, oh. I think just to do An the one moment, moment or something like that. Yeah, they right. like brought them in to talk to one another. Farah. I'm obs- I, I'm some of my with favorite. Her. We keep talking about Farah on this podcast. We so just had glam- Oh yeah, uh, Alexis, Alexis Michelle, and she was like me and Farah. <laughs> yeah, I love. And yeah. She was talking about her like uh, getting ready with Farah, uh-huh. and that is like some of the moments I just like hold close to my heart. She's just like the best to get ready with. She's so much fun. She lets you like just be yourself and Aww. like, yeah, I understand. She's a Virgo too. Uh-huh. What's it like getting ready backstage at the Drag Race live show when there's like eight girls all running around cranked up on Oh my God. Tequila. <laughs> Have you heard anything? No, I haven't heard. Well, I heard someone stole a bus once. A bus? A van. <laughs> Stole a bus. Uh, we can't, I guess we can't talk about A van. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I don't know what's going on backstage. I mean, all I know is that we. I talked to Derek Barry. I keep running into her places randomly. Love. And we talked about it backstage, and she just talks about how fun it is, like, getting ready, and, like, she likes being organized and stuff. But then I see videos of people. She's, like, running to the stage. Yes. <laughs> running around, or her being like, I'm a, I'm, 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 and, like, her running off to the side. So, like, what is it really like back there? Is that a show? Is um, it like a regular drag show? Yeah, it's like a regular drag show. Like everyone's like taking their sweet ass time until like, ten minutes before the show, and then you're like, no one has a wig on, no one has nails on. Some people just never put the nails on, but um, it's uh, it's like a classic drag show. There's fights. I feel like that's why Coco's I was ask, going yeah, live I was on ask, Instagram for thirty seconds just to say hi like to people. Like seventy three minutes sometimes. <laughs> yes. Like oh no, just, she's on it the whole time, but doesn't read anything. Like sometimes I'm like walking by, like untucked, and like I just see a bunch of like hearts go up. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, I love Coco. She's like <laughs> one of the four people I've ever painted, just because I felt like it. Oh, love her. How did she look? Slay. She's got the old. No, she look. No, she looked great. She just like I just wanted like a different contact and maybe like a different lip color and like her to keep the wig on all night. Oh, you know, if I'm gonna paint you, I just would like you to have one wig for the the whole night. So you're not. Oh, like, she switches it up. hers out. Yeah, like not it up, but you know. It's changing the edges. There's it's, gonna be smudging. Yeah, you paint for that wig. Now contacts. You're a girl who likes to wear contacts. I love contacts. I can't do it. I know it would brighten my eyes. Did up, you used it, to? I did. I used to wear bright blue contacts. Oof. Why? Because I used to wear bright blue contacts. Why did we do that? Um, Because I thought bl- blue eyes was the prettiest for the divas. Yeah. I also was like trying to look like a clown, and I didn't realize I was like leaning into scary. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, what are you, but you like do icy ones now. I do like, uh, these are called delicious honey. Mm. I, I also think I have a weird eye shape because it yeah, always feels I feel like. like my eye is being like pressed on when I have contacts in. Uh, I mean, Bob is the same way. Like I've tried to get Bob in a contact so many times. Well, I just watched that never... video of you doing Bob's makeup, and it was like forty-five minutes of face prep. So what's going on over there? Yeah. What do you mean? Just why did it just... take so long to start? <laughs> well, Bob doesn't wear skincare. Like I mean, Bob doesn't wear the extensive skincare, extensive in my books, you know, to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're like a face lotion and a sunscreen. It was like maybe seven steps. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a mask, and then there was lotion, and then there was some other lip mask, maybe, and then more lotion, and uh, then sunscreen, and then a primer. Yeah, but that was like also the day before. That was the night before. Like I told, I like went over to Bob's place and had them like do a full skincare regime. Like a mask and everything, and then the next day we she painted. said, "If I'm going to paint you, I just need to fall. You you're know? gonna need to do the prep work. The only prep work I do a night before drag is make sure I don't eat anything that'll upset my stomach. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can always douche. <laughs> no, because sometimes I'm... if I eat like Gus's fried chicken, my stomach is just like on fire, right. for like a day. But sometimes it's hard after the gig to eat like something. Oh, okay. there's never anything open, especially right. in Vegas. All they have is like the is the casino, like food. hash house, a go go, pancakes and stuff. Ooh, see, I wasn't leaving the strip. It's on the strip. Oh, you gotta know where to go. But I have I Derek Barry, who's like showing me. Vegas inside and out where Britney used to perform like all that you know she's like come over to my house we'll cook you brunch did you see what Maddie posted Maddie Morphosis lives in Vegas now and she posted I just moved to Vegas and Pheromone our favorite drag queen immediately instead of being like congratulations or anything just commented get security systems I had my house broken into three times since I moved here please it's not safe make sure don't show where you live like just this long thing and everyone was like 
damn, Farah, calm down. They're just saying they just. <laughs> She's moved trying it. to protect her sister. I know. Wait, I have a question about. Do you feel unsafe in Vegas? <laughs> it's a, it can be a little rowdy, I but I live bet. like close to the strip, so I mean it just invites strangers of rowdy all kinds. Rowdy straights. But everyone's there to escape something. That's right. what Vegas is. It's like an escapist city. So the drivers are drunk or stoned or you know it's just like a weird. It's it's fun though. Sorry, I was I've question. never been. <laughs> You've never been to never Vegas. Never been to Vegas. Never been to we Vegas. have to it's go. Hard. I know. I really want to go. It's hard to be like gay in Vegas. Oh, it's yeah. It's very strange. So I heard there's a bathhouse. Oh, is there? Oh, always... Kuma. Yeah, I've heard of it too. I yeah, always too. like oh, Kuma. to. I've only heard it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like in a strip mall. <laughs> and everything in no, Vegas there's... is in a strip mall. Everything in Vegas is in a strip mall. Well, it's everything a big in mall. LA is in a strip yeah, mall. Yeah, it is kind of a big mall. My question was going to be about products. Okay. During the pandemic, I assume you were doing drag less. Yeah, no. Well, I guess you did the tour. I did the tour. I did the Small World show, like a little viral, I like guess. virtual show. Because I'm just so curious. It's like, do you do such extensive? That was her when she was in. So, when the you Small were in the World alien in the in the, in the, oh, the outer spaceship. space one. Yeah. This is a very minority. <laughs> I was like, damn, she's <laughs> acting. <laughs> Method. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you, um, do you think you use more product because you're getting ready to do drag? Or if you stop doing like full makeup, you would still do as much of a skincare routine? Oh, skincare. Yeah. Um, I, w- actually, me, I only wear toner before I put on makeup. Okay. And that's pretty much it. But you started putting on makeup at like 17. Yeah, I didn't do no skincare back then. My skin, I, when I, I was doing skincare drag, at 12. Do- Oh, no, no, I did not do skincare oh, back okay. then. Yeah, no, absolutely not. My oh. mom actually is, like, she's from this, like, small city, Portage of the Prairie in Canada, uh-huh. like, in Manitoba. Um, and I love that. Manitoba. She had no idea. I asked her when I was in high school, can I please get some moisturizer? And she's like, what is that? She had no idea what, like, skin facial moisturizer. She has, like, no frills at all. She has no idea where the hell, I would, like, this all came from. But, like... She's that's like, just crazy. wash your face with Cetaphil. Like that's all. That was, that's okay. Her my mom was a dial soap bar. Okay, and she was like, just wash your face with soap and water, and your acne will go away. And I was like, I'm not sure that's right. Yeah, old white lady. I know. Washcloth. Washcloth. Yeah, no loofahs. My mom was a very against loofahs. She thought they were gross. So every time we showered, we would use a fresh, clean washcloth. I mean, at least I know a lot of people who don't even wash. Like, have you seen that meme on, like, TikTok where, like, the girl puts, like, this, the Sharpie around her boyfriend's, oh, like, yeah. body wash and stuff? And she's like, I know he didn't wash his body. And then she, like, asks him. And then he's like, yeah, I washed my body. And, like, she goes to check all the products and, like, humiliates him. Yeah. And she was like, with what? And he's like, with Wa- water. water. And she's and like, like, how did you wash your app? He, he's like, with the, the, with the water cleaned it. If it's not scrubbed with soap, I ain't licking it. And see, and that's why, like, all these... I mean, I know a lot of gay men who are like so turned on to like the like turning a straight man. That just uh, sounds dirty. It sounds gross. Oh yeah. Like I want a f- who knows how to like keep hygienic. Yeah, and then moisturize the butthole. Put yeah. a little listerine in the douche water. Yes. Make it an experience. I actually just stick a little tic tac up there and let it melt away. I Ooh. stick a whole bag of jelly, jelly beans, beans up, up my ass. ass. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> We and are we're back. back. What are you working on? <laughs> Moving. Slay. Uh, what are you most excited about coming back? Being close to like Kim. Meatball. Yeah, being close to Meatball. <laughs> being close to all my friends who are here. But I do have family that live in Vegas, so that is like what's oh. kind of kept me like sane when I'm there. I have a brother and sister who live there. Oh, that's so cool. It feels a lot more normal. Yeah, you have like people to see. A lot more normal, cheaper rent, and that's what everyone says. The I rent know. is so cheap. Meatball. The closest thing to a nine to five as a drag queen, you know. That is true. That is true. Now, do you find? Did you have moments in Vegas where you were like, F- "It, I can't do the four hour getting ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this in seventy five minutes, do the show, and make the whole thing a three hour experience." Or were you always like? 
it ha- because the show yeah. is pretty quick, right? The actual performance. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah so, so theoretically, and did you were you guys doing meet and greets or not really? Yeah. Well, At the end they did. Yeah. And I forced them to do one with me. Yeah. Well, towards like when Omicron was happening, we weren't doing that. But, oh, okay. Like there was one day when the show starts at 9.30 and I got there at 6.30 and that's like really that late for me because I get there at like three, four, five. Right. You know? Six, seven, eight, nine. It's just awful. Yeah. You yeah. hate the rush. I hate being rushed. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I do too. But sometimes it just feels like there's no, there's nothing else to you, do. You can't do anything. So you're just like, oh, I'll start getting ready at two o'clock for my six o'clock show or something. Well, then you have time to take pictures. And oh, like, I don't do any make of that. Content. I don't make the content either. Yeah. I'm lazy as hell. <sighs> it's a lot. Thoughts? Uh, well, uh, is it laziness or do you just hate doing drag so you never want? <laughs> Like I think your makeup was bomb. Content. Me too. I hate doing drag. <laughs> hate? No, here's here's an ideal drag situation for uh-huh. me, okay? I um wake up, <laughs> someone makes my breakfast and brings it to me. Someone brings me a list mm-hmm. of songs that I know top to bottom and says, which two of these are you in the mood to do tonight? And then I pick four and I say, send those to the DJ and I'll decide at the bar. And then I get a whole day of just like fried chicken being fed to me. And then someone comes <laughs> in and does my makeup and then they dolly me out to the stage like a, a Hannibal Lecter. Who's dressing you? I could dress myself. But that's two wow. other people are doing nails, nails on each hand. And then they prop me up on stage with a tequila soda in my hand, and I'm slaying. Mm. That's ideal. There. I hate doing the makeup. I hate getting padded. But I do like being in front of an audience and looking silly. Do you drive and drag? I do. I'll show wow. up fully padded. Work. But also, it's because here in L.A., it's like you never know what your dressing room situation is right. going to oh, be. Oh, yeah. And so the other day, and I'm very glad I did, I did a private gig at this hotel. And I was like, normally they give you a hotel room <laughs> to get ready. At, but they were like, oh, the dressing room is off to the side of the stage. And I was like, great. But I'm going to show up padded with my costume on under a caftan because I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. I arrive, and they have to walk me right through the audience to get to the uh, dressing room. So I was like, thank yeah. God I was wearing something they're not going to see. Did yeah. you have a lean I'm, Spanish brown? No. I was in a baseball. No, I put on the big blonde wig Work. to oh, walk in. Perfect. And uh, the dressing room, we got in there, and there was like a coffee table in the middle of it, and it was really tiny. But I was like, at least I knew yeah. and I had enough th- forethought my to new, put my pads on at home. New thing for me is just like gluing my wig on right after I do my makeup. Like, I don't want to like arrive anywhere without a wig on, because like, but then how like how do you sit in a car? You're sitting like this. I know I did recline today when I was in the back seat. Like, but if you I was actually like this. Because it's kind of heavy. It's um very it's reminiscent beautiful. of Crystal Abasia in the Queen in the I documentary. Like oh, it's giving me Oprah in that one movie where she was in outer space. Remember, Kim Chi had to dress up like her for the oh, uh, Wrinkle, oh. In oh. Wrinkle, Wrinkle in Time, Wrinkle in Time. I was gonna say Into the Woods, but yeah, no. Um, what is the wildest private gig you've ever done? Oh, I taught. Well, I was hired to teach goat yoga. At house i don't i don't know if i i don't actually know if i signed an NBA. We, we can believe know. the name. name okay yeah that is Wait, this insane what? sentence yeah. do you do goat yoga no no i was hired <laughs> okay if we're gonna bleep just yeah. keep bleeping but i was hired to do like be honestly i felt like kind of like a party clown but i was like yeah. hired to be a drag queen goat yoga instructor at <laughs> house for Okay. For like her, like Birthday a party, party or just or her, her party? It was like kind of fresh into pandemic too. Were was there like, a lot of people there? Probably was beyond not that many. No, she wasn't there. Were no, the no, but no Kardashians were there, but their like event assistant. coordinator who I also follow, Mindy, Mindy Weiss, she did the party. It was fierce. It was That's bomb. Slay. It was bomb. There were a lot of goats. There were a lot of cute little baby goats. And what was the look? Were you like fitness instructor or were you in gla- glam? I was, no, I was like came in drag. Like 30 inch wig and like. 40 inch wig. <laughs> I don't even own a 40 inch wig. I don't this you was. hear that, Lexi? Like Leave I, her alone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like I don't. I like I actually, looks. yeah, that's fierce though. <laughs> Um, I saw if. the measurement. <laughs> she said, but I jumped on a trampoline. I just kind of like walked around their estate. I didn't have to really do anything with the goats because it was like too hot. Oh. 
so they weren't really jumping on people. Also, goat yoga is just you're doing yoga and goats are jumping on. They you. climb on you. Yeah, but yeah. they don't even want to. Most of the time, they have to like put food on you and stuff for them I've, to climb on. And I've you. seen them like shit on people. Oh yeah, they poo. But like I used to like raise goats and sheep, so it's not too awful. Like the pellets, you know. Where were you raising goats and sheep and red in the redlands? In the redlands with okay. your mom's crazy dogs. My mom's crazy dogs weren't around yet. She was still rescuing. Oh God, I'm so bad. Um, but yeah, I used to raise, I used to be like in 4-H and raise sheep and pigs and goats and... Meepaw, what are those 4-H's? Do you know? Hell, home, horny, hindrances. Hinge. Hinge. <laughs> Hinge. <laughs> right. All right, well, I think it's time for a very special segment. Perfect. Inspired by the 2008 Tyra Banks Beyonce interview entitled Beyonce My Name Say My Name, we will be doing my version called Slant My Name. I didn't come up with it and I don't get it. Slant My Name? Yeah. Like a slant rhyme. Everything's like a slant rhyme. Okay. Naomi Paws. You famously hate a dog named Biggie Paws and your close friend named Kim adopted a dog named Margarine. Would you consider being an animal owner? And if so, what would you name it? And if not, why are you a monster? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Biggie Paws ripped my fishnets that night. Mm -hmm. And has chewed, it chewed up my shoes that evening, too. Uh -huh. That was the night that you taught me how to glue down a wig. Gag. Whose dog is that? Uh, Josh, Josh Epo. Epo. Oh, Epo. Biggie yeah, Paws. That dog will tear your legs apart. Yeah, I had to zip that bag up. I'd love to have a dog, though, and I would love a, either a black standard poodle named Quinn Ooh. or a black borzoi named Seb. What's a borzoi? It's like a Russian wolfhound. <laughs> I love that you already have the names picked out. Seb's short for Sebastian? Sebastian. Yeah, if I got a dog, it would be a Brussels Griffon, and its name would be Herschel. Like, Wait, that, you don't think like, about these things? It's like the little monkey-looking dog, right? The Brussels. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have, like, the... Yeah, so Tobin, you know my friend Tobin? Yeah. They have two Brussels, and their names are Crouton and Onion. Ooh, Ooh I love that. Salad. Yeah. It's <laughs> Foamy Smalls. Are you a big beach person, or you, do you find sand annoying? Uh, I love the beach. I love San Diego. Hey, phony smalls. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Do you like real leather or pleather? Real leather. Mm -hmm. Gay old P smalls. <laughs> What's the <laughs> Gay or gay old? Gay old P <laughs> Gay old beats? P. Okay, gay old P smalls. Gay old P. Naomi. Gay old P. You know what I mean? Smalls. Okay. What's the worst gay bar bathroom you've ever had to use? Oh, um... Good question. Probably something in Paris, something small and like. Why does Paris smell like piss? The All yeah. does. Yeah, gross. And their people are so rude. They're so rude. They'll just tell you shit on the street that you don't even want to hear. Okay. Pay homie smalls. What's the most amount of money you would lend to a friend? Oh, um, <laughs> I'd probably call their Uber. That's about it. Oh. You owe me smalls. Please give me money. Do I owe you? No. I probably do. No, actually, you don't. Actually, I owe you because you gave me that wig and I never paid for it. Naomi Balls. <laughs> yeah? Naomi Balls? Uh-huh. Yeah. That could be bigger. Say horny smalls. Is your sex life better traveling or in Vegas? In Vegas. Naomi Falls. How often are you falling in heels? Me? It's at least twice a month. Ooh. Um, not that often, but I've been wearing heels since I was like 16. Mm, mm, very lucky. Just that to school, you know. You wore heels to school oh, at yeah. 16? Were you bullied? No. I was the bully. Same. I was that girl. Stay Lonely Smalls. <laughs> you still single? <laughs> no. Macaroni Smalls. What's your favorite macaroni pasta meal? Oh. Macaroni pasta. I don't know, but I really like the Al Noki pasta from Bossa Nova. Oh, I love bossa nova. It's so good. It's Did you know that macaroni salad seems disgusting? But when you think about it, it's actually pretty good. Rain on me smalls. Ariana or Lady Gaga? Gaga. Naomi calls. How many times a week do you think it's too many times to call someone? <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm not a huge talker on the phone. Besides me either. Yeah, besides Dipper. Me. Got it. Like, it's, just to check in? It's about me. I call her probably between 12 and... 
15 times a week. Okay. I mean, but you guys have like a rapport, like. And we're out. I've guys, always got to like work, work on. Work, yeah. Right? It's always something for work. And I'm always like, this could have been a text. It's always mm-hmm. could have been a text, but I'm always driving in the right. car or I don't want to text about when it. When you're driving, it's, yeah, I get it. Yeah, but I can always tell when I'm just a time filler call when he's in the car. Right. And then you're like, where are you? And then you hear like, oh, I'll have a, a baconator number three. <laughs> and you're that like, Wendy's? sir. Wendy's? I got to tell you, I just went to a Wendy's the other day. Sorry to make this about me. I went to a Wendy's the other day. I had two bites of that hamburger and I had to spit it out. It was the grossest thing I've ever had. And it may have been the location, but I don't eat fast food a lot. And that really turned my stomach. Oh, yeah. It was bad. The fries were okay, though. My favorite fast food. Have you guys ever had Baker's? What's Baker's? Baker's? No. It's like pretty local to like the Inland Empire. No. Mark, Mark is it like a went, Foster's food? Hell yeah. When you said Baker's. <laughs> <laughs> no, Baker's is bomb. They have like burgers, burritos. They have like everything that you could want as like someone who's like vegetarian or vegan. Oh. oh we yeah. don't have that. It's very have good. you have you had Jollibee? Yeah, I didn't like it. Oh, I didn't, didn't like it either. Why do they put like hot dogs and spaghetti and it's like hot dogs and spaghetti Filipino. and the spaghetti is just ketchup. But it oh. had it's the there's a like sweet just it's the sweetness yeah. to it. It's a different I ate a Jollibee in Times Square no. with no. Donnell, and it was an amazing experience. The fried chicken was so good. Okay. Maybe that I think oftentimes with franchises and chains, you like gotta, that, go, to a you specific gotta go to the right one. one. Yeah. And the one I went to on Vermont Vermont and like Santa Monica or Hillhurst or whatever it is, don't go to that one. The, Naomi Ma- oh. the mascot is wearing those shoes though. She is wearing Boop. those shoes. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I Did you see that old TikTok shoes. of the jo- Jolly really B really killing it? It was like, <laughs> yeah, and she like has like the slow blink. Yeah, uh-huh. she kind of slay. Yeah. Naomi Malls. Mall culture was once said to be dead. Casinos are basically just large malls that you can smoke in. Why do you love Vegas? I love Vegas for family and Derek Barry, and yeah, that's my answer. Naomi Shawls. Do you remember Shawls? <laughs> Everyone was wearing a shawl. You sell them on the street. Just like a, Very, I, like I like a, a pashmina. Just like a shawl. No, I don't have a shawl. But yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I remember Not those like you. Alexander McQueen skull scarves really had a choke. Oh, oh my God. Oh, or remember wow. like the big triangular, like, knit. it was almost herringbone. Like, tied it in the back. Yes. And you just let it. Ugh. Very gay. With like a V-neck. And, and like a puka a vest. shell necklace. Yeah. And a vest. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> fedora. <laughs> I'm so happy I made all those like fedora vest v neck. Well, it's coming back in like it's coming back the past like high school. Those mistakes need to be made in the high school. Do you remember your long straight hair? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh yeah, the whole time you were on Drag Race the first time, you <sighs> yeah. had like, the craziest like chemically straightened hair. It was a Brazilian blowout. Sorry, I first never relaxed it. It was a Brazilian. You know who needs to relax right now? You. Don't come for me like that. (laughs) (laughs) No, I've been like growing my hair out again, actually, but like all over, not the shape. It looks so cute. And I'm like, it's just a flat iron, so I can do a ponytail. Oh, so then you don't have to wear the custom lace front. No, I still will do that, like a frontal. Like go wig or go home, James here yeah. in uh, yeah, LA. Yeah. We love him. And the wigs you want. Yeah, the wigs you want. And Zach oh, yeah. Killian. Willem is a big buyer. Yeah. Oh, I like honestly, I think I have gone through the hair game. Like I have been scammed. I have been robbed. I have been <laughs> up. Serena got Chacha. what I don't want. Yeah. yeah hot glue and wigs. <laughs> I've been through that. I have my team now and I'm so thankful that they like They're get me the together. Ones. Yeah. How hard is it for you to like or how hard is it to, like, pick your team? You know what I mean? Because I, I have, like, some people that I really like. But you have to eventually just be, like, these are the only people I trust. Absolutely. Because, like, they have, like, all the se- not all the secrets, but they, like, They do know, it the way they you just, like. like. They know you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I would rather. And. That's probably what makes me feel, like, aloof. Oh. Because I just stick to, like, you know. What you I have know. your inner circle. Yeah. And I think with certain people, right, the team trusts you back because they're, like, oh, you're working all the time. I know I can count on you for three orders a month, and then every once in a while there's a special thing that comes up or whatever, and so it becomes like a like a back and forth. Mm-hmm. Right. Also, they learn the fit of your body, mm-hmm. which is... Always fluctuating. Always, yeah, mine's up and down. <laughs> I told you that one dress, it was made, and then by the time I got it, I gained 10 pounds. What was the wig you were talking about? I was like trying to think. It was like a copper wig. No, the wig, it was, uh, oh, you did give me a copper one, too, but it was the victory rolls and the bang piece, and I wore it to DragCon UK. Okay. With that, with a picnic blanket dress. Work. So many wigs. 
So many wigs. Our life is so many wigs. I know. Naomi Malls. Mall culture was one. You second. already oh. read it. Naomi. Oh, Naomi <laughs> Gauze. Any 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 procedures on the forefront? You think about getting anything done? Any filler? The uh, lips have gone down. The lips have gone down. Yeah. I feel like that's part of culture right now is everyone's getting everything dissolved. I haven't done any dissolve. I just haven't okay. touched my lips in like three years. Uh. I haven't touched my lips since before All Stars. That's so good. Right? Is that longer than three? It's like four years. Four Jesus years. Christ. Um, but I never say never to procedures. I'm always down for some more beautifying. What's what's one that like you're interested in? Maybe not for yourself. You're just interested oh, in the procedure because everyone's doing a it. buccal fat removal. Mm, I think I actually think that buccal fat removal is amazing if you have. It's like you have to have a specific face for it. Yeah, and that's the thing with a lot of like procedures is it's not for everyone. Right, but procedures can be so trendy, you know. Um, yeah, and then everyone will go to the same doctor, so they'll get the same result, but their face isn't the same shape. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. I was, like, looking at um, Leah Michelle, and she went to the same person that did, I forget her name. She could count the checkers on the ceiling. Anyway, they had the same doctor for the- Anya Taylor Green. Oh. Anya Taylor Joy. They uh-huh. had the same doctor for the buccal fat removal, the apparently. And it- they look, it looks the same, but it looks better on Anya. Where, where do they take it from for that one? It's like a or fat here. pad inside of your, like, jaw. And it just makes you look- Yeah, but there's, like, like it's, like, levels to it. You don't have to take all the fat. Got it. You can take, like, small amounts. I think that's the best work is when it's, like, in small increments People over can't a period tell. of time. Yes. Yeah. Baloney small. <laughs> like, As I talk with like big ass pumps. I'm just like, looking. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> Baloney gets its name from a city in Italy, also called Baloney. They do have Baloney there, but it's called Mortadella. Mortadella is essentially the grandfather of the Baloney that everyone knows and loves in the United States. Both meats are primarily used the same ingredients, which is ground up animals. Thoughts? Oh, um. I'm a huge fan of Impossible Burgers. I am too. Over Beyond. Yes, Impossible Burger, but the Beyond Sausage over the Impossible Sauce. Oh, I've never tried it. I'm not it's really good. a sausage person, but that's probably because I've only had like meat sausage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And thank you for playing Slap My Name. I think the town's pronounced Bologna. Oscar Meyer. <laughs> Oscar Meyer. We, you know they're looking for new drivers right now. Oh, yeah. We should go do that get together. To like, that'd be fierce. I think you just drive it from one city to the next, and then they find a new driver in the next. The inside Only. of that thing is wild. Oh, yeah, you went inside of it. If they did. encrust the wiener. With stones. That'd oh, be, my be God. It. Turn the wiener crazy. into Doja Cat, and we would turn it. <gasps> turn yes. the wiener Pat McGrath, are you listening? Pat. Pat. Okay, Seriously, we're going to take a break. That. Do you agree with everyone saying that she should have worn lashes with that look? I just like feel like you just shouldn't question Pat. Yeah, you don't ask. Maybe the look didn't need lashes. I think she looked amazing. Truly. She looked really cool. Was a pussy Honestly, there were some patches that didn't have rhinestones in there. But like, I'm well, sure she, they, like, I saw in the time. tester they did a glitter base and then glued the yes. rhinestones over that. But to me, I was like, the glitter will come off in a chunk better, like more than it would just if you painted her. Right? Like, don't you think gluing a stone to a glitter layer that's glued to skin would, like... I don't know how they did that. I, that sounds claustrophobic, though. Ooh, yeah. How, what's the wildest, like, most restrictive drag look you've ever done? Oh. Honestly, I should have thrown up. I should have just let it happen, but it was, like, on All Stars. It was, like, the plastic fantastic dress. Okay. Situation. It was, like, just all heavy acrylic circles uh-huh. and there was a moment where i thought i was gonna throw up and i like just like, like paused for a second i should have just done it because it would have been iconic you know? oh yeah, oh, yeah. i like, remember that dress facing. too it was, it was, it was like, like the willem's mess. fur it was like i was just overheating oh it was just, yeah it was synth- synthetic down it was bad yeah but i should have just thrown up that was restrictive i we haven't talked about all stars at all i do just like, i feel like the i know we're about to be i know <laughs> but i just want to bring up like I love your attitude about the life's pulling the lipstick, fair. saying life not fair, playing the game, giving good TV. Oh, God. It's just like you weren't worried because you were like, we're all grown ups. Absolutely. Well, and how did you like put They your... are all grown ups, but not everyone on that cast was acting like that. Of course not. I agree. Down. Did you? I guess my question is did you put yourself in that mindset? going in 
like as you were like packing your bags and getting ready, you were like, I'm going to go off. I'm going to make great TV and I'm just going to like have fun for me. Or was it like in the moment you were like, oh, here's an opportunity or was it really just organic? Oh, I knew I wanted to look good and play the game. I didn't necessarily think about making TV or anything. I actually did not think it was going to make great TV with that lipstick situation. I just kind of like went with what I wanted. Yeah. And I wanted the bitch gone and so did Monet. Slay. Slay. When you want to slay. <laughs> but honestly, her show looks fierce. That drag den stuff. Was- oh, yeah. Oh, that looks insane. Isn't it so cool? Everyone's like finding their own lane and like yeah. doing shit. Absolutely. Love. I can't wait to see what you do here in LA. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe you could throw a drag show. Well, it's going to be a while because I'm going to be on the Wiener Mobile. True. We are going to be yeah. traveling the nation in the it's Wiener Mobile. You're going to have to find a new co host. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> And we're back. Naomi, we've made it to the end. You know, our last She's segment. She's not going to give that free pl- product placement. Oh, I mean, Starbucks. <laughs> no. Please. Absolutely. <laughs> I drink you every day. I knew the guy who started Starbucks' daughter in college. Seattle. Well, I went to one of her house parties and asked her how much her apartment was. And she went, that's rude. And I said, you still haven't told me. Seattle? Uh, no, it was New York. Oh. In college. She was in college. She, okay. I think she's she went to Seattle NYU, and, and went, the others were living in the dorm. Dad started Starbucks, something like that. He was real high up. That's some Gretchen Wiener. She was very nice. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. We met in Chicago. Yeah, we did meet at Berlin. Yes, we have been. I was gonna yes. I, what I was gonna say is the Berlin bathrooms because we were yeah. talking about they have the it potential to, uh-huh. to be like really disgusting. Uh-huh. But I feel like if they're if someone watches them they're okay yeah but it's just kind of like piss everywhere but like who's watching anything at berlin well tell me the front door it. yeah you know, which is why we love berlin yes yeah. the best i'm trying to think of the grossest bathroom and i would say that it was at this bar called the boiler room in new york city on the lower east side sure they had the nastiest bathrooms when you walked in you had to literally hold your breath yeah. and like pee with the door open i have I've you been there i've never used the restroom at a bar <laughs> like i mean i pee. Naomi, what no, no, no. the f- no, I, I pee. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But it's like, hard to... No, I don't sh- in public ever. No. Like, I can't. Like, I, I mean, physically yeah, there's emergencies, oh, you know? Yeah. But, like, ideally, that would just never happen. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, an emergency, that doesn't count. I did poop in a Delta lounge once. Um, well, that, oh, that's oh, the airport? Kind of had the door Honey. top the, to bottom, but I've never pooped I in an airport s- in a public airport restroom. I can't unless it's, like, literal alcoholic I'm trying diarrhea. to be empty oh, on the plane. Which is normally happens at an early flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you're flying out at 4 a.m. And you've been partying all night. Uh, I, like, will scan for those, like, um, it's the... Family bathroom. Family bathroom, the diaper uh-huh. changing bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm scanning for, like, that green little vacancy. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, like, walking by with my headphones and, like, eyeing, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Feels I like your own it. little apartment. <laughs> yeah, oh, <and> then, <laughs> this is my... I can move in! And then this when I get in there, I take my shoes off. Honey, Wait a minute, no, because even when I get in those, I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I don't want to open it up and there to be, like, a family I have that there. same anxiety. Oh, it's happened. But at when you're in the lounge lounge, there's normally, like, four of them, so yeah. you're like... Eh. Yeah. Just full of gay dudes taking What about when the whole bathroom is full and like the urinals are full and the stalls are full except for the handicap stall and no one's using it? I and have... I'm like, I'll I'll just walk over and go pee in it. Like I won't wait for a urinal. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's off limit. In my humble opinion, it doesn't mean it's off limits, but it just means like that is for certain people to use mm. as priority. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. They're I'll move Ish. on. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're going to be quick. Yeah. Uh, to end our show, we always... Go back to Chicago for a date. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm excited. Seems like we're putting two and two together from the aloof mm-hmm. answers. Well, I'm doing Roscoe's next week. Oh, the I viewing party. Roscoe. Do you know which season 15 girl you're going to be with? Yeah. yeah. Do you know which season 15 girl the... you're going to piss off the most this week? I saw the poster t- today. Who is it? Me, Vanjie. Oh, Slay. And Jax. Uh, Jack, I love Jax. I would, I would be excited to see her perform live because I feel yeah, like all those sure. stunts are really cool. Oh yeah, that'd be interesting. Lip syncs, backflips, backflips. Why did, how did you feel about Jax's story? Because when she was telling it, did Michael, you feel seen? Yes, Michael. My boyfriend too. looked at me and he goes, "Is she you?" And I said, "No, I look better." But 
<laughs> very similar. You looked at him, you're like, no, she. I'm three of her. <laughs> <laughs> Stacked on top of each other and why? Yeah. Six of her. No, I felt seen too. Yeah, it yeah. was really weird to hear it like talked about publicly like that because I feel like I haven't heard that story from anyone. Really. For sure. I, I could get more in detail. And, yeah, I want more about that. And like a nuanced story told so succinctly because those episodes are so quick. Yeah. Oh, she was able to sort of say it in three sentences, which I thought was, you know. Yeah, and it was like the way she said it, I was like, I've never thought about it that way where she was like, when you walk into a room, you have to make sure everyone's comfortable with you being there. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's what it is. It's about being like, yeah, it was very strange. Oh, well. Drag changing lives. Drag changing lives. Bringing people together. She can go home now that she told that story, though, Oop. right? Oop. She Our came final... on there in a pair of well, leader hosting. Okay. She is going to be at Roscoe's. They this... do be doing the knowledge oh, yeah. about... Oh, yeah, because have the intel sound effect for this. Not for this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> also, this is going to come out like three weeks yeah, after you right. did so the gig at Roscoe's, right. but she'll probably be off the show by then. Bye, Jax. Okay, our last segment is called <laughs> F*** Talk! <laughs> it's F*** Talk. F asterisk sent sign K and the word talk. Now is the time of the episode where you get to tell a fun or a weird or a strange oh. sex story that happened to you. Um, any weird new sex stuff? New sex. Let's see. New I believe last time you were on the pod, you came out as a top. Did it come out as a top? <laughs> I think it was the first time you've popped as a top. I hope it is. I mean, I'm not. Are you both sucking like fingers crossed? Fingers. I'm, I'm not are a you sucking tuck. farts? No. Oh, my gosh. I, I never knew metallic was a flavor. Uh, oh, from, I was from, referencing. I forgot well, about that. From Alexis from Michelle. From Alexis Michelle episode yeah. where she said that the flavor was metallic. Everyone's on my TikTok has been like, that means that there's blood in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So Wait. she might have been tasting blood. But I also thought that people's buttholes taste like pennies to me. Like, buttholes taste a little metallic to me. Interesting. The pennies is dirty. The metallic could be blood. The I know. <laughs> the pennies is dirty. <laughs> I, I know from using my fist. Work. Sometimes you stop. When it gets a little pink, because someone has, you know, it's like been, the, you know, irritated. Irritated. So Cut. there might be a little a blood. Fissure. Oh, scary. So you stop, of course. That's like part of the job of the person who's like can see what's going on to be like, oh, it's a little pink. Like we should hold off. But the metallic smell makes its way into the room. Mm. And you're like, oh. So I thought about that. Dahmer. Too. Dahmer. What? Um, have you ever. Anybody? I've never f- anybody. I'm not opposed. I just have never have been. It hasn't come up. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, ideally when you start with, like this. You do nails. have long, oh it's my God, you seem like such bu- a good piano player. Look how yes. long your fingers are. I wish I had another talent. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, <laughs> I think the, 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 um, the boniness would be good would or be bad. Challenge. Whatever. The inside's all padding. It's all organs. Okay, you fisters. Feel, you can't feel your inside. Sound off in the comments. Do you want the padded uh thick hands or the the bony glamorous hands? <laughs> I would say I would say that I would like a longer, thinner hand. Yes. Cause then it seems like it can do more maneuvering. <laughs> no, it's doing <laughs> shape. Well, because isn't that how you do it? You go in. And then you're a fist. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I don't know. Feels. I do. People get wild with you, sexually. Yeah. Um. Not really. Not really. I okay. guess I am kind of aloof in the club too. Mm. But there are like some. I don't know. I've, I've what not... would it take at a club for like <laughs> if someone was interested in you? Uh-huh. What would you need from them besides them being? physically attractive to you what oh. kind of actions do you need from them like it's down right there no no just like to take them home yeah oh or to like for them to to feel like oh like, i feel comfortable do they need to buy you a drink or just come up and talk to you probably just eye contact confidence and they're hot yeah and equally into each other sure you know because sometimes that's just a good. lot of the time it's not the case good breath Good breath. Oh my god! I saw that you have the Listerine spray. That's yes. like my go-to. Oh, that yes, is yes, my yes, hack. Yes. Like I've abs- been like I chew gum all the time, but I feel like between you got to add the Listerine on top yeah. of it because mm-hmm. the gum just flavors the air. It kind of like makes it makes the taste better. But like yeah. I think you need to like do this. To you get gotta the full, get the like, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Because our bodies are disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> I was just Covered finding out. Covered in baby out... oil. <laughs> <laughs> Slick for the ride home. Ah! I was just finding out that you, like, brushing your teeth like two or three times a day actually kills the good bacteria in your mouth too. Yeah, I mean the point of brushing your teeth is to clean the teeth and get food particles out, but if you over sanitize, yeah, it could actually make your breath worse. Yeah. Didn't know. Someone <laughs> yeah. And then they say, "Oh my god, what about when you sent um, Manila home?" While they're inside. Thoughts? I haven't had a lot of those experiences. I had like one person in the UK a couple of years ago that I took home and it it got clear that they just had a lot of questions about drag. They wanted to try and a it, wig on. And it wasn't. They wanted to play in the wig. They wanted to play in the wig. They didn't want to play in the wig. They just wanted to talk about drag. And I was just like, you got to go. They wanted to talk about drag or drag race. Drag race? Probably both. Yeah. Honestly, because I feel like it's a little better if they're just like curious about drag. Yeah, but if they're, they're just like on episode four, right? You're like, get out of here. Like 35 minutes and like 17 seconds to remember. Yeah, uh-huh. all that. No, I honestly I haven't had too crazy a situations, but normally, yeah, and, like this is season eight days. I lived my <laughs> life like I was freshly yeah out oh, the yeah. house and you were independent. Like 22. 22. I, like didn't I mean I Brazilian up, blowout twenty two <laughs> on grinder no it's talking about right I'm on eye TV contacts. hello said, somehow Eat I knew me up. somehow I knew I needed to get a high fade low Caesar very quickly I'm which like, is such a good haircut for you oh, thanks I miss it yeah I miss it I like the afro on you too yeah I mean it's your hair lot. looks great right now I mean I like had to like gel shellac my actual hair down just put this wig on today you know yeah but it looks great. You can leave that one here for me too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but know. you'll destroy. I'll it. destroy it in two ways. With like the little like <laughs> butterfly. Clip. Shut the. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah, I mean, I that, uh, uh, be aloof, be aloof about your sex life. That's fine. Let's move oh, on. Am I being aloof? No, I I'm don't just even kidding. Know. No, this is what I mean. I think like you are being yourself, and you. It just, I feel like you have this fact, this it I also factor. feel weird asking you about your sex life. Of course. Because she looks so beautiful. So yeah. Oh, and yeah. I'm not like, who's sticking it in your hole? No, you know I, I, mean? I want to be less aloof. No, but I feel like it just well, no, works on you better. and yeah. everyone's like, ooh, Naomi. Interesting. I'll keep I, it up then. That's my analysis. <laughs> and I'm just humbly one individual. And I'm just being Miley. See? <laughs> Now, what size bed does Derek Barry have? Is it like an Alaskan king, or are they all up in a California king together? I have only seen Derek's bedroom via the show. I've actually never, I've gone over to her house so many times, I've never gone in her bedroom. Mm. I can't imagine sleeping with two other people in the bed. I can't either. So I can't be touched when I sleep. Like, the house would have to be at like 56. Truly. Yeah. Or they'd have to have like Rob's bed, which was like an Alaskan king <laughs> oh, or something yeah. that's like super wide. Yeah, I want that bed. I'm like, if I'm in a throuple. Roll. I want to eat on one side, roll over three times, and sleep on the other. And like raise a great dane. Roll over. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I I'm like, if I'm ever in a thruple, put me on the cot next to the bed. Y'all can sleep in that bed. You want to pull out, you want to trundle. I just need to be by myself on my own perimeter. You can be on the floor next to it and just poke up. We doing anything? (laughs) Right. No, we don't. (laughs) <laughs> Scrolling on TikTok instead of sleeping. Link to yourself. Jesus Christ. Do you ever think we'd be grown up people just like tethered to some tiny device? I lost 30 minutes to a singular TikTok yesterday. I just Whoa. watched it on loop and read every comment. Is this the Queen, La- not Queen Latifah, Missy Elliott challenge? No. Oh, no, but I could lose 30 more minutes on that. You know, where's my phone? All right. It. We got to wrap up. Do it Naomi, it. thank you so much. Yeah, we should do it. <laughs> I'm not. Miles. I'm not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Oh, Naomi, thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you. you. Are you kidding? I fully inserted myself as a guest, and I'm not. I have no shame about That's it. That's not true at We're all. We're thrilled. I literally, again, was a guest that you wanted to yeah, be. Yeah, I was shocked that you, that even you came in drag. Being here. You do know I am a drag queen, right? I, yes, we do. But again, this some is a of the garbage. People, some people are so below you, garbage trash, and they make a deal about getting in drag. To they do. Here. Oh, I mean, there's like and you. To I was just taken. like, oh, it's Naomi. photos to be taken. To do. It's, oh, I mean, iconic. I, you're gonna be in drag, bitch. I... We should take some photos Absolutely. and then eat. We should do a um a ASMR. Oh, now she's a content with farm with all your nails all stayed on. 
They did. Well, I used Super Moon. Wait, where can everyone find you, Miss Naomi? I'm on Instagram, Naomi Smalls. I'm on Twitter, Naomi Smalls. Duh. I don't really use it, but I lurk. Okay. Love for porn. You can book me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, if you're, you're looking open to do, for bookings. That's so I'm wild. Open for bookings, no Vegas. Go so, yeah. yoga. Um, I'm catching me at a city near you. Stunning looks. Stunning. DJing. <laughs> no. With Kim. The tech. Yeah, oh, no I'm tech. So bad. At yeah. Low tech. See, actually, those race tracer things, I like hated it because my the audio live was streams. so awful. Oh right, because the my audio was so bad, and it was just yeah. We tried. I know we, we tried. could only do I'm so sorry. much. Next time. We'll just do it. Oh, Margo asked for some nail clacking. <laughs> it does feel good in the ears. Shout out to all you ASMR girlies. While you're here, you should do a video with Trisha Paytas, please. Here? In the studio? No, yeah, she in actually LA. has an office right now. <laughs> While you're in LA. I don't know if she knows who I am or, but I would love you to. You guys should do a squirting video together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, she okay. just pees and pretends. It. Okay. We gotta Thank go. you so much for listening to this week's episode <laughs> of Sloppy Seconds. You can follow us at Sloppy Pod. You can send us an email at sloppysecondspod at gmail.com or call in with your own fuck talk story to 213-536-9180. You can follow us on Instagram at Big Dipper Jelly or Spicy as Meatball Fat Drag Meatball on Twitter and Meatball the Drag Queen on TikTok. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't ever miss an episode which come out every Tuesday and Friday. And don't forget to follow at Mom Podcasts everywhere where you can watch this video live. And if you subscribe to Mom Plus, you can see this episode a day early. And unbleeped. That's our new thing. Oh, yeah. And our newest thing on Mom Plus is we're about to end the episode, but there's going to be five extra minutes that are going to exist only on Mom Plus. Did you know about this? No, I didn't. We're about to do it right now. It'll be our first time ever. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Goodbye. Goodbye. To listen to Sloppy Seconds one day early, ad-free, and to watch our full video episodes, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcast.plus. Sloppy Seconds is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Hosted by Big Dipper and Meatball. Editing and sound design by... William Pitts! Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio. Our artwork was drawn by Christian Cimarroni. And our theme song was written by Mike Malarkey.